Hey guys, I'm here to do this Amy Winehouse um, inspired tutorial and kind of in honor of since, you know, she passed away. And it's kind of sad because her music was really good, but, you know, bad things happened, <laughs> to say the least. But somebody requested this on my giveaway video, so I thought I'd go ahead and do it. And I think I did a pretty good job. Um, this was based off of a picture that I saw of her at a red carpet for something, I don't know. She had this really pretty coral pink lip on, and then, of course, her eyeliner and a little bit of shadow. Um, so I hope you guys like this, and if you do, please comment, like, and subscribe. And to check the blog post link below, because it will have pictures and a products list. So without further ado, let's get on to this tutorial. Alright, so all I've done, um, besides this whole eye, is I've just put moisturizer on, um, clip my hair, well pushed my hair back and put my NYX HD shadow base on my lid. Um, I'm going to do the brow on camera because it's a little bit different than how I normally do it. I'm going to take my 266 angled brush like this from Sigma and then I'm going to use what I normally use in my brows which is Max Espresso eyeshadow. It's a dark, like, like a medium to dark matte brown. So I'm just going to a, little, a bunch of that onto the brush because I'm going to do it darker than I normally would and I'm going to do is something else that's a little different my mirror then after I did do that I'm going to take Mac Car uh, Max Carbon Eyeshadow I don't know why I stuttered right there or why I couldn't get that out but it's just the matte black and I'm just going to barely take a little bit of that, just a tap, and tap away just a little bit onto my hand. Almost dropped it. And with this, because um, um, I don't like to use just straight black eyeshadow and eyebrows, but since hers are really dark, um, that's why I'm taking this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of, kind of do that. <laughs> just go back and forth with it, just so it kind of blends it in a little bit. So I'm going to do it again, just tap away a little bit, and do the same process. And then I'm going to take a spoolie and um, come through it, just so they go back to shape. And there we go, that's it for the brows. Now for the eyeshadow, it's just really simple, you could even skip it if you want, but in the picture that I saw, or in a few pictures that I saw. I just saw a little something there. So I'm going to take my 275 angled fluffy brush from Sigma. And keep in mind, these are old numberings. Uh, so um, you're going to have to kind of look on the website to see what they're called now. Because I have no idea. But um, if you look on Mac, or if you have Mac brushes, it's the same numbering. So it's the 275. Um... So what I'm going to use is Darkly My Dear Blush by MAC. This came out in the Venomous Villains collection. It's like a kind of pinkish... I always have the hardest time describing this color. It's kind of like a pinkish brown color that's matte. And then um, I'm barely going to tap... Uh, after I get that on the brush, I'm barely going to tap this with Passionate. And this is just the uh, eyeshadow for MAC. It's just the matte, medium-toned pink. So I'm going to get quite a bit on the brush, and then, like I said, barely tap it into uh, Passionate. What I'm going to do with this is put it in my crease. And then I'm going to take uh, just dark, dark, the blush, Darkly My Dear, and I'm going to fan this on the rest of the eye. Take a little bit more passionate and dip it back into the blush. So kind of like that. Um, it's just really roughly blended. And um, I thought about it when I was using this, when I saw it on camera. Um, but a dupe that you could use for Darkly My Dear, since this was limited edition, is Soft Brown Eyeshadow by MAC. 
You can see they're a little bit different. Uh, this comes off a lot paler. It, it looks a lot paler in the pan. Once you put it on, uh, at least for me, it comes off like a warm brown color. So, and it's matte too, so you can kind of switch it out if you don't have anything like this. Just a little side note. Now for a highlight, uh, I'm going to take the bronzer that I'm going to use, which is my Palladio Herbal Mosaic Powder. I'm just going to take the lightest color up here onto the same brush and put that underneath the brow and on the inner corner. And take a tiny, tiny bit of it and kind of blend it over the edge right there. I didn't really do that over here, but I will. So like that. So now comes the really fun part, which is obviously her trademark eyeliner. What I'm going to use for this is just this really um, fine eyeliner brush, which is my favorite eyeliner brush that I've had for a while. You've probably seen me use it numerous amount of times. But it's just the angled liner brush from Sephora. It was in a travel kit. And for the liner, I'm going to use the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner, which you can see I've used a lot of. But you can use any kind of eyeliner you want. I think it'd be kind of hard with a stick, but if you can do it, do it. So I'm just going to load a bunch onto the brush. Uh, if it were me, I would make this more pointed, but hers are usually... Do you hear that? <laughs> are usually kind of rounded like that, in a way. I'll zoom you in. You can just see how it's not really... It is pointed, but it's like a rounded point. So that's what I'm going to do. I guess I can zoom in a little bit. Uh, most of this I'm going to be off camera because it's really hard to do on camera. Because I have to get kind of close to my mirror. So what I do first is... Oh my god, this is going to be hard. What I'm going to do first is start it out like normal liner. I'm going to go all the way in. I'm going to do this off camera, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way in and just do it like normal liner without a wing or anything. Now look how fast I did that off camera. <laughs> Obviously really, really fast to you since the magic of editing. But like that, like, like that, okay. So like that, and then what I'm going to do is, um, it's usually really angled, like curved, I mean. So I'm going to get more onto the brush, and what I'm going to do is, usually I follow my lash line, but that rule flies out the window today. I'm going to kind of start up here, and then curve it in. And then you can work your way up. And then once you have this, <laughs> just go all the way over. So like that, and then we're done. No, we're not. Obviously, we're not done. I'm going to fill this in and then work it to how I want it to match up and everything. So I'm going to go off camera so this video isn't really long and take forever to upload. So I'll be right back. So like that. And then I'm just going to take um, kind of like a fluffy brush like this. And I'm going to take that matte black eyeshadow. And I'm going to tap that on top just so it sets since that's a cream product. Product. <laughs> product. <laughs> Just because that's a cream product with a T. Um, I don't want it to melt and go everywhere. And I'm going to take just a little bit more gel liner or whatever is left on the brush, really, because there's a shit ton on this brush. And I'm going to put that on the lower lash line. Sorry if I go out of frame for this. By all means, if you want to use some false, mas false mascara, totally. They make that. And by all means, go ahead and do it. I just remembered a step that I forgot. Uh, with that, it's kind of optional. 
but I think it just adds a little something and kind of notice it in one of the pictures. I'm going to take that same fine brush that I used to pat the black eyeshadow on. I'm going to take a silver eyeshadow. This one's Electra by MAC, and I just smashed it a little bit ago, so there's a chunk laying on my desk, and it just happens to be that chunk. I'm just barely taking any of it. I barely used any of this, and look what the poor thing's gone through. So, same with the eyebrows. I'm going to tap away a tiny bit, and I'm going to put this on the inner corner. Like that, and then go back over it with the black eyeshadow just so it's not so stand outish. For my cheeks, I'm just going to use the bronzer, like I said earlier, the herbal mosaic one. I'm going to use my Sigma F05. It's just a small con contouring brush. <laughs> so I'm just going to swirl it in there and then tap it off. And then contour with that. And for actual blush, I'm going to use the Dark Than My Dear and a mix of the uh, herbal mosaic powder. And for highlight, like I normally use, I'm going to use my Luster Drops for MAC and Pink Rebel. They look like this. And I'm going to use my F15 uh, do a fiber, Duo Fiber Brush from Sigma. And then for my lips, I'm going to line my lips in NYX's Orange Lip Liner. Just a really faint line and then kind of blend it in on the edges. So like that, and then I'm going to take Rimmel's Natural Lip Liner and go over top of that and then fill it in all the way. I'm going to use um, Rimmel's Moisture Renew in Pink Chic, I think. Yeah, Pink Chic. No, it's not going to focus fast enough. It's just like an average pink color. Like that. Over top of that, I'm going to use um, Max Lip Glass in Strange Potion. This came out in the uh, Surf Baby collection and in the Venomous Villains collection. But it's just a really, really pretty coral pink color with some shimmer in it. So this is a tiny bit of that. So it's finished the Amy Winehouse look. Um, I hope I did a good job. Um, rest in peace, Amy. I really like this lip combination, so I'm going to keep this in mind. But, yeah, so here it is in all of its glory. I'll push my hair back out of the way a little bit. So, I hope I did a good enough job for whoever requested it. I'm sorry. I just remember that you requested it, so I tried it out. Um, yeah, so remember to check the blog post below for the pictures and the product list. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!